What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got another viewer's car. This is Zachary's BMW M140i X-Drive and it's not stock of course because <laughs> you guys love to tune your M140i's. This is one of the most popular cars. Uh, this is also one of the cars that we get submitted the most and well unfortunately we have to turn down a few because we have done so many but Zachary's M140i is the definition of a pocket rocket this thing has 700 horsepower so today I'm going to show you around it we're going to talk a bit about what makes this car so great and we'll cover all the mods of course and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Now you can follow Zachary if you want on Instagram at Asteril M140iX. So you can follow his progress there. He might also do another turbo upgrade uh, soon. So if you want to stay up to date with that, go check him out on Instagram. So Zachary always watches our videos with his three and a half year old son and they both love to watch it and that is also part of the reason why he brought us his M140i because he thought it would be cool to watch his own car on our channel with his son and uh, have the car just be on our channel forever. So uh, very cool, really love that kind of stuff. So what is it about the M140i that makes it so popular and that makes it so suitable for tuning. Well, of course, it is a relatively small, relatively light car. You've got a turbocharged six cylinder at the front and the option of four wheel drive, giving it massive amounts of traction. I'll show you guys that later on, but little spoiler alert, this car does 3.1 seconds, zero to 100. That is pretty damn mental. So it's an Asteril Blue M140i, uh, hence his Instagram handle, of course, all black details at the front and he also upgraded his wheels recently to these bronze M performance wheels very nice behind that M sport brakes not the best brakes if I'm honest uh, they kind of tend to get warm quite quickly uh, but so far today no problems but we'll see uh, when we get to the Autobahn later on Goodyear Eagle F1 tires, 18 inch wheels, which is the correct choice, 19 or 20, we even see that sometimes, is just too big for an M140i. This is much, much better. 245 section tires at the front. Then we've got at the rear, 245s as well, so we've got 245s all around. Little black spoiler at the rear. An M140i X-Drive badge, or two badges rather. Little black diffuser, and then we've got an Akrapovic, well we don't have an Akrapovic exhaust, we have the Akrapovic tips from a BMW M3 F80. And we've got a three and a half inch custom exhaust, which is pretty nice. So let's check out the engine, and I'll show you guys the mods, or we'll talk about the mods, because We've got, oh, he didn't mention this one, the FTP Motorsport, RTP Motor, FTP Motorsport, I think that is, performance intake pipe system. But we've got a pure 850 turbo on here. This is the B58 inline, three liter inline six cylinder, of course. And you can also see the methanol injection there, of course. So uh, this thing now produces 700 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque which is pretty damn insane. Now to get enough fuel to this engine, uh, to be able to cope with that, to produce that amount of power, uh, he also has a Dorch stage two high pressure fuel pump. Uh, I'm assuming that the downpipe is DCAT and part of that three and a half inch custom system. It also has an XHP stage three transmission tune, which is very nice, very aggressive shifts and an OS Geeken limited slip diff as well to get all that power to the ground properly. So it is a very serious build this. It, it has all the right ingredients. It has the power, it has the cooling, and it has the ability to put it all to the ground with the X-Drive and the OS Geeken limited slip diff. So a very serious tune. Now, as I said, uh, he might actually do an upgrade to a Turbo Systems Turbo uh, because he wants to run below 10 seconds on the quarter mile and he's now doing 10.5 so he wants a 10 second car damn 
Fast and the Furious. You owe me a 10 second car. Anyway, interior, all stock except for one very nice upgrade. Zachary installed the Speedo, the screen from uh, a BMW M2, which means that you have a Speedo that goes up to 300 kilometers an hour. It also looks the best. I happen to think this might actually be the most beautiful Speedo BMW has ever made. I think this is such a good combination between digital and analog, sort of, at least the feel. But the needles are real. I really like that. I think it's super nice. I learned a trick. If you hit the throttle a little bit, it, it's a bit more quiet. Um, but that is also why we have a little engine warning light there. It has something to do with the Speedo, apparently. Uh, so everything is okay with the car, it's just the speedo and uh, yeah, apparently it's not a big deal. And performance steering wheel of course with pedals and yeah, that's basically it. I mean we've covered M140i's so often that I'm just going to take it for a drive. And have some fun because I have to say it is a very very good car this. The M140i in general is amazing but when you tune them they just become so serious and the performance is quite amazing. Now, we have done a couple of these in the past, as I said, well, a lot actually. But I think this one has a very nice combination of parts. You have that, that massive increase in power, but you also have the methanol injection to keep everything cool. And you've got that OS Geek and Diff, it has the right size wheels, the exhaust sounds really good. It's not too loud, which I really don't like that these days. I think I'm getting old. So... Ah yeah, the rev counter is not working anymore, you see? So I guess that has something to do with it. But it sounds really good, it's not too much. There are no pops and bangs, it's not too loud. Yeah, I really like this setup for this car. Alrighty, so let's do a little pull. As I said, 3.1 seconds to 100. Little brake boost. There we go. Oh, that is freaking quick it really takes off it is very impressive the way this thing hooks up you have that little build up time i i am brake boosting it but not too much but then when you release the brake you have that initial build up time and then it just shoots off into the distance it is very impressive man I honestly it, it doesn't really happen to me that often but I was surprised when I hit the throttle and went through like three gears I was like oh okay this is seriously quick all right so let's take it to the autobahn and see what it's like over there I'm going to keep the gearbox in automatic mode because I don't have a, a rev counter anymore so don't want to hit the rev limiter too much It is very, very powerful. All right, Autobahn, full throttle. Oh. So you can hear those shifts are super quick and crisp. And that is because of that XHP stage three transmission software upgrade. Holy moly, that's quick. Now, this car basically is on the limit of what the gearbox can handle, power-wise. Uh, if you want more power, you have to upgrade the transmission to the transmission from a, a diesel BMW, so like a 335D or something like that. Or you have to install a stage one gearbox. That is 300 on the speedo. And that is damn quick in an M140i. Holy moly, this thing really does keep going. 
it shoots off like a freaking rocket that does not stop that is very impressive all right let's do another little pull so as i said 0 to 100 3.1 seconds this is 100 to 200 kilometers an hour you can count with me if you want there we are that is 200 and that is 6.2 seconds we measured and uh, it can do better than that but it is a bit warm out today so that definitely hampers performance but 6.2 still is very very quick it, it does check out it is around 700 horsepower very quick car so as I said these cars are so popular because of the setup you've got a rear wheel drive biased x-drive system so you can put all the power down without it losing its playful character you have that b58 at the front you guys know we love that engine it, it is very easy or very easy it is relatively easy to get this car to crazy amounts of horsepower and it can handle it the, the engine can handle it the transmission is doing well uh, you can feel sometimes that it is right there on the limit but it is it is handling it the only problem is heat management the b58 suffers from heat soak which means that the hotter it gets the hotter it gets it, it, it's not really able to shed the heat so the more runs you do the slower the car becomes because the intake temperature and the internals just get too hot and that is just the limit basically of this engine of this platform you can get it to 700 horsepower but if you want to do four consecutive 100 to 200 runs you're going to see that every one uh, of them will be slower than the previous one now these guys have freaking balls of steel they are they they are walking around here like it's a freaking shopping boulevard anyway uh zachary thanks so much for taking your car to us i hope you enjoyed watching it on our channel and uh, say hi to your son from us to you guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video or this playlist see you at the next one bye